Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Vacation Voyagers and welcome to day six and day seven on the Vacation Voyagers trip on the Carnival Celebration. Yeah, I'm not on the ship. I was on the ship. I'm no longer on the ship and I don't have any video footage to give you and I will tell you why after my little intro. Okay, so I do not have any footage to show you for day six or day seven, and here is why. I lost my SD card. <laughs> it's so hard to even admit that, but I lost my SD card. I have no excuse. I have been editing for the past three weeks on that, doing, you know, day one, day two, like I always do. And lo and behold, the SD card that I put day six and day seven on just vanished off the face of the earth. I cannot find it. I have torn my room to pieces trying to find day six, day seven footage. It also had some other footage of other trips that I had. So I'm super bummed out that had my son's Australian trip on there. I had all kinds of stuff on there. Especially this carnival celebration day six and day seven. Bleh. I don't know what to say. I just don't know what to say. So instead, what I'm going to do is just talk about it because that's all I can do. I can only talk about what happened on day six and day seven. Pretty much nothing, except we did the Carnival Kitchen, which I was looking forward to editing that and showing you guys because we'd never done a Carnival Kitchen. You hardly see it on any vlogs. And I was like, cool, we're doing that so I can put that on my video. Lost it. I did like a little snippet on day five, like a little preview, just a little teaser to get you guys to watch day six. So we did the Carnival Kitchen. We did the tailgate party version and it was fun. It was weird because what you would normally do with food they weren't doing they were doing it differently so it was, it was confusing they give you 10 different bowls 10 different spoons they tell you to grab a specific bowl if you grab the wrong bowl they they wouldn't yell at you but they would be no that's the wrong bowl get this bowl use this bowl i wish i could show you the footage but i can't if i ever find that footage if i ever find that sd card i will show you and then after that we did a, a couple of trivias in the limelight lounge i actually won i've got proof of that at least so they didn't do ships on a stick they did these things which are basically well tell trinkets i don't know what you call these things lanyards whatever so yeah that's what i won i wish they'd given me a ship but they didn't anyway we did that both days were sea days so we weren't anywhere in particular and you've already seen the ship so really other than those two things there was nothing more i can show you i went to the casino lost more money we watched a few shows uh just you know hung out we never did eat again in the regular dining room because of the bad experience we had on day one so we basically basically either ate buffet food or we ate at specialty restaurants but all in all you know it was a good trip so i thought instead in telling you about the rest of the trip which i just did we'll just talk about my overall view of the carnival celebration so the first thing i'm going to talk about is the fact that it's pretty much the carnival mardi gras it's the sister ship it's built and is exactly like the carnival mardi gras with a couple of exceptions casinos the same pretty much all the shops are the same the only difference that i saw as far as the shops were concerned was the liquor and tobacco shop which was back in summer landing where the pig and anchor was is moved up to the other shops and they put the carnival fun shop back there and it was a pretty cool shop because it was big and it had all things carnival you know carnival celebration shirts ships all kinds of stuff so that was cool but other than that there really wasn't too many major changes one change that i wish they had done but they did not do was the elevators the elevators are still small we'll get into that in a minute because i wanted to talk about how crowded the ship was as well but as far as food everything's the same as far as restaurants and stuff still good we went to rudy's we went to del capitano two times their italian was good Rudy's wasn't as good as the Mardi Gras just because I think the fish that I got wasn't as good but the seared shrimp that I got was still delicious I love that probably my favorite anything as far as food on that ship they got a seared shrimp with these little if you watched I think day five you'll see what I'm talking about I think I didn't have audio on that but I did have pictures and man it was so good I got two after appetizers that aren't even main courses and I got two of them they were so good but you know the food's the same guys burger all of those food joints are great the only bad part about any food place that i went to was shack's chicken 
they did not have Nashville hot chicken. And that was a bummer because I love Nashville hot chicken. I'm from Nashville, so I should. You know, it's turned into a thing where everybody has it now. And Shaq's chicken had it. They had it on the Mardi Gras back in September. They did not have it on a celebration in January. So you got to fix that. That stuff's too good for you just to toss it to the side and bring some chicken cordon bleu bring back the Nashville hot okay so the other things the casino was the exact same what the difference was from when we went on the Mardi Gras back in September and the January trip on the celebration was how crowded the ship was it just seemed like there was twice as many people on the celebration than there was on the Mardi Gras it was so crowded the elevators got super packed all the time if you've ever been on one of those ships before my rule is never use the mid elevators always go to the aft or the front elevators because they're nowhere near as bad as the mid elevators but my god every time we got on an elevator there was 40 people trying to get on it it was just a nightmare and those elevators are so small carnival you i wish you'd have fixed that you didn't you probably won't fix it on the jubilee when we go next year in april but that's probably the worst design flaw that they have on that ship and like i said that that ship was so crowded every venue we went to every time we went somewhere it was just packed and it was so hard to get seats you had to get to a show 20 30 minutes early just to get a seat all the restaurants for the most part were very crowded it just seemed like they put as many people as they possibly could on that ship the flip side of that is they had all of these people on the ship but they didn't have near as many crew members on the ship it's like they cut the crew members in half and doubled the passengers as great as the ship is when you have that many people on there and you have a lot less crew members to service the passengers it you can tell the casinos every single night were super crowded hard to find slot machines hard to get to a table you had to either get there super early on a sea day or you had to stay up till midnight one o'clock in the morning just to be able to play so that was very noticeable i won't say it was good or bad it was just very noticeable a lot of people won on that ship i mean of course i didn't i never win but i did see a lot of people win on the, that ship somebody wanted i think it was forty thousand dollars on the slot machine and i've never seen that or heard that before and you know it happens because they announce all of the winners and i was in the casino when they had announced somebody had won and they did it not 10 not 20 not 30 but forty thousand dollars and i'm like holy you gotta be kidding me I'm just trying to win like a hundred bucks and I'll be happy. Somebody's winning 40 grand. Congratulations to them. But man, heard a lot of people hitting that $10,000 hit. Somebody else hit it for $10,000, $10,000. But on the flip side of that, I'm not a high roller. So I don't gamble $20 a slot pool. I'm more of a 60 cent per pool kind of guy so that's probably why i never win but you know getting back to the as far as the crowds were concerned very hard to get drinks because there were so many people in there you would order a drink and it could take them up to 30 40 minutes just to get you a drink i guess what carnival's trying to do now is they're trying to make as much money as they can on these ships and they're trying to cut costs by trying to work with less employees to save money their buffet is still not the greatest they did not have very many options on the buffet as they used to i know that's another way they're trying to cut costs so there's things that you can just see right off the bat when you get on the ship that they're trying to do to cut costs and overcrowding a ship shouldn't be one of them I mean I get if you sell out you should have a limit on how many people are allowed in each room I think there were six people per room it just seemed that crowded I did like the ship I did like the layout again just like the Mardi Gras a brand new ship so clean the rooms were clean room stirrets as always were nice i'll do a proper review on it at a later date but yeah this trip for whatever reason it just seems like there was eight thousand people on the ship and there probably was okay so that wraps up this cruise sorry this is the way it wrapped up but it's the only way i could wrap it up but thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that little like button i don't even know why people have to hit the like button i guess that's to affirm youtube that they actually like what you're putting out there so i guess it is important because if you're watching it and you're not liking it i guess they're thinking well these people don't like this guy so we're not going to promote them so please hit that like button and also hit that share button share with your friends and your families and your enemies and all the people you don't know it does nothing but help my channel doesn't cost you anything but a little bit of effort just to hit that button just go boop boop 
subscribe and it only helps me grow and if it helps me grow it helps you grow this is the part where i babble so much and i don't know when to shut my mouth so i'm just going to say thank you guys again and i will see you on our next voyage peace and love bye bye